Hi, I'm Narid Ansari and in this video we're gonna talk about slopes in physics world. It will look like this. So we have this slope and it will work fine. And let me show you some more example in here. So where we need it? If you watch my videos about this car to this side scroller game that has physics on it, I have some video on it. So when you have a car to the side scroller game, you need the slopes, right? Without the slopes, game wouldn't be that much fun, right? So without any further ado, let's begin. So we have this empty project. I have this sprite in here that is a slope, right? Sorry about uh, this bad slope that I draw in uh, Photoshop. I'm not a art ex uh, expert and I can't uh, draw something cool. Of course, you can use your tile map or whatever you want to use. It's just for referencing. I just add this to my project and now we can create a asset layer or tile map or whatever uh, slope that you have. It will work with this system. So let's just put this in here and that's our slope and we want to have these slopes in our game right i didn't have nobody to draw a tile set or to draw a cool tile map and that's why i just draw it in photoshop and import it to our game maker studio and we want to have this slope in our game right what we want to have at the end we want to have a for example a car or a object let me create an object let's call it box and create a sprite for it really fast spr box let's just change the size of it to 32 by 32 and edit it so that's our box let's just put it for set it for our object box in here it's just for testing our slope right and i want to enable the physics go to physics and in here the density is okay everything is okay right in collision everything is okay for this let's just add another object in here it's just for testing you don't need to have this um i create all of this object for just testing right so obj test and in here let's just put this obg test to our instance layer okay and in here i want to create the most uh, most event of global left press and whenever the left press happen create an instance create layer in most x and most y i want to create it on this instance layer so let's just copy its name put it in here and the object that i want to create is object box right so what we have done let's just run our game and whenever we click somewhere, this box will be created and because we uh, enable the physics, it will go down, okay? So for enabling the physics for our room, you just go to or your property of ro your room and in physics, in room physics, enable physics, okay? That's all you need to do. And now we have this box that has physics on it, okay? Whenever it's not colliding with this. So the method that I want to use to create this uh, slope is by creating fixtures for it. And how we can create fixture, I will show you. But before that, I want to use Path in Game Maker to create this slope, right? So for that, in Path, right click and create a new path. And I want to call it P slope, okay? And I want it to be a smooth curve. The precision I want to be to 8. I think the maximum is 8. And you don't need to do anything else with this. And if you go to your room in here, create a half layer in here. And with that selected, let's just collapse everything. This path property will be open for us. And with in here, first we should select a path. Let's just select that. And now our path is selected. And now we can create our path. Okay. So let's just zoom in and let's just create our path with uh, clicking left mouse button. And you can see I'm just creating this app in here. It's easy to do, but it will be optimized. Don't worry about that. And where I did learn this, it's the way that Unity does it, okay? Uh, in Unity, because first I start with Unity, then Unreal Engine, and then Game Maker. Uh, as a matter of fact, I have a channel on Unreal Engine as well. So let's just create all this path in here. And I think it will be more optimized than uh, unity and unreal engine so let's just create it fast i will put fast forward in here okay no i did create this path in here and it's precise right and we want to use this path to create our fixture don't worry about the amount of point that you put in here because all of this is uh, less than one kilobyte and uh, it's just a lo location of each pin it doesn't it doesn't need any calculation okay so it will be saved in this p slope and you can see it in here it's just some values in here and it won't take any space and it won't 
need any calculation okay so now that we have this let's just create an object to create our slope new object i want to call this object a slope right so in here just add a create event in here and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just create a fixture just search for fixture and you can see the fixture create and i want to put this fixture create in a variable that i will call it fix okay so the important thing in here is to set a shape for these fix fix fixtures first okay so i will search for shape okay and if you scroll down you can see that there are some shape in here box shape chain shape circle edge and polygon okay the important things in here is that we can't use box we can't use circle we can't use edge and of course we can't use polygon why because the polygon has a limit to it okay so what we can use we can use this chain shape okay so what in input it needs our fixture and if it for the second input it says do you want it to be loop i don't want it to be loop because i want to create a slope right so with that we have a chain fixture okay now we should add a points some point to this fixture and where we get those points we will get it from this path that we created right it's easy so for that um i want to create a variable number of points equal to half get number okay and with this we give it our path so it, it is p slope and know that we have the number of the points it's the number of this point if we put 100 point in here it will give us 100 in this variable i want to create a for loop in here by right clicking and go to code snippet just use this code snippet it will make your life very much easier okay and i want to create a for loop in here and i want to start from zero to the number of points okay and in here now we can add over point for adding point just search for add point okay and we want to add point to our fixture so select fixture physics fixture add point in here and what it needs for first input it needs our fixture that we create and it needs local x and local y okay so let's just get that x and y of our path okay so for that we can search for path get point x okay the path that we want to get the point x of is the slope and the the index is i okay because we want to start from zero the zero is this one in here from the zero after that one two three four five six to the end okay so we have it for x and i want to put it in variable x x and i want to copy this and we want to get the y value of this path and i want to put it on yy and we can use that x x and yy in here and now with this we add all points of our path to our fixture okay now with this we create our fixture exactly like this path in here so what next next we should set some value in our uh, fixture okay what are those value if you go to physics in here you can see that uh, i did talk about this a lot in my playlist let me show you uh, in this playlist i did show you a lot of this information what is the difference between them and everything about it right just watch all of these videos you will learn a lot from physics okay so we need to send density restitution collision group and all of this right so let's just do it for that for example i want to set the density i search for set density okay and it will find some of them for us and the one that we need is this this physics fixture set density so in here we for the first input we should give it the fixture that we have and the density that i want to use because i don't want this fixture to fall down we use zero so it will be a, a static fixture a static object right I did talk about static, dynamic, and kinematic in that playlist. Please watch it. And after that, we need to set restitution. And in here, again, we want to use this for the first input fix. And for the value, I just want a default value, like in here, okay? Just remember, we didn't check this use physics because we don't need it. We create that physics in here in codes and we enable it. So like we did these two, we should set all of these variable, uh, these options in here. So I just copy and paste it from my finished project. Okay, so we set the collision group like we have it in here. We set the linear damping like in here. We set the angular damping like in here. We set the friction, we set a wake and we set a sensor to false. Okay, so it will exactly look like this okay after that we should bind it so search for bind and in here we need to use physics fixture bind and it needs our fixture that we create and we need an object
object to set it to so because i want to set it for this object in here just like i write self in here okay so no it's bind after it's bind we can delete it of course we uh, we can ignore that but if we delete it it will be more optimized right so for that just search for fixture delete and it will give us this function and it it needs just one input and the input is the fixture that you want to delete okay so with that we will delete our fixture so no uh, because we bind it and after that we delete the fixture everything should work fine so now let's just go to our game and add this slope to our room okay so now if you run our game there should be a slope and when we create our box and you can see it's not working fine it has some offset you can see it it has some offset so uh, let's see how we can find what is the problem so if we go to our workspace again let's just add a draw event in here and with that i want to draw this slope that we create with fixture okay so for that let's just search for draw debug and i want to use this physics word draw debug and the draw flag i want to put five debug render shapes because we want to um, see the shape of our fixture so let's just run it again to see how much of offset we have and you can see the offset in is in the x and y i don't know why it's happening like that so after i finished with this video i find out what is the problem sorry about that uh, i find out that the fixture use the x and y of our object so if you put your object at uh, your object slope obj slope if you put it at the zero zero you don't need to offset it again you don't see this offset so just put it at zero and zero but let's fix it okay how we can fix it in here we can minus the x by some variable like 20 pixel and let's just run it again to see if it's match or not minus it by 50 again run it 50 is a lot so let's just use 40 in here run it again and i think for the x is cool let's just offset the y by plusing 20 pixel to it to see if it works fine or not and i think it's it's good now okay now if we create our uh, our box in here you can see it's working fine right so know that everything is okay and let's just comment this physics board draw divide and no run our game and no i think everything should be okay and you can see that our slope is working fine and we can have that excellent car game in our with s slopes right so let's just play with it a, a little bit everything is working fine and i hope you like this video please if you want to help me hit that like button it's very much important to me and subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching bye